Hello everyone! In today's video, I'm gonna talk about the best motherboards for AMD processors on different chipsets. From the budget A320 to the recently released top class X570, it's going to be interesting, so watch this video till the end. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the Technodog channel. Don't forget to turn on notifications by clicking on the bell. Let's get started. The ASRock A320M DVS R4.0 is a low-cost motherboard built on the most affordable current chipset, AMD A320. It doesn't support manual overclocking by a factor on this chipset, but since most Ryzen processors have a relatively small margin, many users prefer to save money and invest in other system components. There are two slots for RAM modules, and there are no M2 ports for high-speed solid-state drives at all. You have to limit yourself to the four standard SATA 3s, but considering the cost of the device, the amount of slots is not that big of a deal. As for the USB interfaces, there are six of them on the rear panel, the four of which are the third version ones. It's good that the manufacturers now don't save on such elements, even in the budget sphere. There are only two four-pin connectors for coolers. One of them is for the processor. It confirms, once again, that the A320M DVS R4.0 is mostly for home and office configurations with relatively low heat dissipation. This board is very good for its price, but it's not suitable for hot assemblies. The AMD B450 chipset is the most popular choice among the Ryzen processors of the second and third generation. So it is not surprising that there are so many options for motherboards from different manufacturers on the market. As for the B450M S2H, the Gigabyte company relies on the maximum cost reduction of components while maintaining the ability to overclock and install the high-speed M2 SSD. The board is made in the micro ATX form factor and allows you to use only two RAM slots and four SATA drives. As for its advantages, it is surprising that even in such a low-cost MP, the manufacturer invested into the processor power subsystem. Unfortunately, there are only two ports for connecting fans, including those intended for the processor cooling system. However, despite some shortcomings, this model is balanced and successful. Gigabyte managed to create a compact model with a good base, suitable for overclocking and for a very modest price. The MSI B450M A Pro Max is a low-cost motherboard based on the AMD's most popular mass chipset. Used both in low-cost home and office configurations, as well as in higher-end gaming and working assemblies, a set of connectors and interfaces is quite typical for this segment. There are two connectors for RAM, one M.2 port, four SATA 3s, and a whole pair of pads for connecting fans. As for the positive aspects, there are some additional radiators, decent temperature indicators even during overclocking, and a good built-in sound. As for the negatives, there is only one PCI Express X1 slot. So if you're planning to connect more than one expansion card, the model won't be a good fit for you. In general, it is a high-quality motherboard, which can be an excellent base for an inexpensive Ryzen assembly. ASRock is famous for releasing models that combine fine cost and functionality. It didn't fail this time either. Thanks to the increased number of various connectors, the 9-phase power subsystem, and the high-quality elemental base, the ASRock B450M Pro 4 became a strong competitor. There are four slots for RAM modules, two for NVMe drives, USB ports of all current versions, and three connectors for case turntables. Without any doubts, all this allows us to recommend the B450M Pro 4 not only for home multimedia PCs and office typewriters, but also for powerful gaming configurations, which processor and memory modules might be manually overclocked. One of the few disadvantages of this motherboard is that you might need to upgrade the BIOS to make it work with the third generation Ryzen processors. But this can be done both independently or with the help of warranty service. The BIOS itself 
By the way, may seem rather inconvenient at first compared to more familiar to the mass consumer ASUS or Gigabyte models, but this is more a matter of habit. So if you're looking for an inexpensive and at the same time a functional motherboard for Ryzen, the ASRock B450M Pro 4 is your choice. The ASUS Prime B450MA is another worthy model from a trusted manufacturer that combines wide functionality and an affordable price. If you're okay with the presence of a single M.2 connector designed for high-speed SSDs, this motherboard will be a reliable basis for a high-performance gaming or working configuration. You can use it even with hot processors like the Ryzen 7 3800X and Ryzen 9 3950X. Most importantly, just don't forget about the general organization of cooling inside the system unit. The motherboard is equipped with only one aluminum radiator in the chipset area, so additional blowing will be a good idea if you plan to overclock it manually. It is better to pay attention to the models that remove heat from the power subsystem, Otherwise, the ASUS Prime B450MA can be considered a successful model. The MS1 X570A Pro is an advanced motherboard based on the top AMD X570 chipset, which currently offers exclusive support for PCI Express 4.0. Sophisticated wiring, high-quality components, and a chipset heat sink with a built-in fan. All this allowed to maximize the potential of the top Ryzen processors without overheating the power subsystem, chokes or other components. As for the set of connectors, they are very good here. In addition to the usual four slots for RAM, there are five PCIe slots, two of which are X16. A couple of M.2 and USB ports of all current versions. Those who prefer high-quality sound will appreciate the presence of an optical output and the use of the Realtek ALC1220 audio codec. As for the overclockers and enthusiasts, the processor has a sufficient number of 4-pin connectors for connecting fans. The Gigabyte X570 Gaming X is another popular motherboard based on the AMD's latest top-end chipset. The power subsystem with 10 plus 2 phases, as well as massive heat sinks and a built-in fan, ensure stability and comfortable temperature conditions even when using the hottest multi-core Ryzen processors. As for the disk subsystem, it allows you to connect two high-speed NVMe solid-state drives and several hard drives. While the maximum supported RAM is 128GB that you can get using four brackets, the set of USB ports of the X570 is rather modest. There is neither Type-C nor 3.1 Gen 2 Type-A, and this is one of the two main disadvantages of this solution. Another drawback is the slightly higher price in stores at the moment, but in time it should come back to normal. Then, the Gigabyte model will be an excellent choice for productive assemblies. If you like the selection of the best motherboards for the AMD processors, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the Technodog channel. And don't forget to turn on notifications by clicking on the bell, so you will always be the first to watch new reviews, tops, and ratings. Thank you, and see you soon on the Technodog channel.